Look, if you grew up in the Bay Area, you know how we used to get down, especially back in the old school, the garage party was the party to have. Especially if you knew a real DJ that had speakers that could put in there. If he was really tight, he had some lights, and you put them on different parts of the garage. If he was really, really tight, he had a smoke machine. So he was really in there getting... <laughs> for anybody who watches, remembers the old school smoke machine with the lights in the garage, and he used to go down for hours until somebody's parents would open up the garage door. <laughs> what y'all doing in there? Oh, I see kids running around, jumping over like fences and over bushes. And if you got old enough that you were really down with the culture in the urban areas of the Bay Area, you remember if you're if you in your late 30s, early 40s, you remember the G spots used to go on. And if you in your you know late 20s and your 30s, you remember the Black Saturdays where you had to call the number to find out where the party was. Put on by Eugene Cockerham, rest in peace, the great man that gave us the our first little bit of nightlife when we was kids and where all these records came from if you heard not even the mac dre's played the uh 11 5 used to be i remember fast one used to be up in the thing i remember the first first time hearing the loonies five on it inside the party was over at a uh, black saturday party which was a g-spot back then um all the shows they used to go on when we was kids. The culture of the Bay Area was, you gotta understand, it's like a great big melting pot that you won't see in any other place in the world. New York has their own, and like New Orleans have their own, and Miami their own, but the like Bay Area one is like very, very, very special. So if you was lucky to get 20s Bay Area garage parties, Black Saturdays, or G-spots, you were truly blessed.